Hello everyone, so today I'm going to do another declutter video since I will go home the next month. So I think over two weeks now I decided to declutter things that I don't really use anymore so I can give it to friends and family. So I first want to show you what I have. So these are my palettes. I got this container in Casa, like um, a furniture shop something like that here and this is my lipstick collection some of the liquid lipsticks my bullet lipsticks here are like other bullet lipsticks some of the palettes here here are like palette from MAC blushers and this is like blushers from Essence in a Z palette um, another more lipsticks here here as well and these are like my single eyeshadows, blushers, and blushers. Here is like my new primer from Tatcha, my Marc Jacobs palette, my Milani cheek palette. It's like a travel brush from Sephora, my wet wipes, my... No, that's like um, makeup wipes. So these are like my brushes. So that's, that is my fix plus in this part. I got this drawer from Primark. I really like how it looks. So I decided to get two of it here. Oops. And this is just from Ikea, like a separate one. So above it, I put like my um, most used palettes, like face palettes, my sunscreen and my mirror so it's easy to remove them why it's a bit this is a bit like that because they're not the same but this first drawer is like my daily essentials so these are like my bronzer my cushion foundation i'm currently using these are my mac powders i think blushers and highlighter from wet and wild my foundation my primer uh, like old cushions and bronzer and this is my mattifying powder these are my cream products from nude sticks these are my another like blushers much more like the expensive and these are the cream blushers and this part is just my sponges and like for my cushion so if other one is dirty or it fell down, I have a um, fill full from the ground, I will have an extra or backup. Okay, let me put it here. These are like my backup. This is too dark for me. This is shade 25, so and it feels like that's for like really dark people. So I will not use that. Maybe in the summer I will mix it with pink. It's my not really used brush at the moment. Primer which I still need to finish. And another primer that I'm using primer. Uh, um, oh, what is this? The eyeshadow primer that I never use. It's like cream products. I put one like looks like um, glossy um, packaging which I never use. It's also from Hema that I never use. And this I think this is too dark for me. I will use this in the summertime. So I'll bring this during vacation when I get dark. And the last drawer is like uh, this was like the divider of my makeup organizer travel makeup organizer this the um, pressed bronzer for me i don't know if i will ever still use this because i still have other bronzers but i'm glad that i pressed this is like um not a good doesn't wait it doesn't focus okay this is not like it's shedding. This is like a brush from Lexi and it's already shedding. So I don't use it anymore because it annoys me a lot. So my makeup remover, my headband, alcohol in case, like empty travel um, case, like my rubber for my mascara. I know from my eyelash curler, sharpeners in case I need it. This is like to mark like my project pan things I will show you later so I know that they're part of my project and things. So first we do this area. So this I really like this palette. So this is how it looks. Like um, from Too Faced I like this because it's really compact and I can bring it certainly in my vacation so I'll keep it. 
is also from Too Faced which is really pretty I don't think I can remove this because I've spent so money for this so I'm gonna keep that and this is one of the recent one that I got from Melanie Sultry palette which I don't know if I will ever use but I still plan to use it a bit longer just to see if I would use it or not and maybe next year I will give it away but this is the only like forgot the term this is not a warm palette but the opposite of it but this is the only one that I have and as you can see this is just like a white sticker so I know it's part of my project band so I don't think I will remove this with this my tartar palette so this is how it looks it's really pretty in the autumn in the time I don't think this is already more than uh, two years with me but it's still doing good so I will still continue using it until I get tired of it. I don't think I will ever hit pan on it because as you can see, there's still a lot. So we shall see. This is a face palette from the Balm. This I know I will give because this is the only one I use and I didn't want to finish everything up because I want to give it to someone, to my aunt, that she still can use the highlighter which is my favorite and this she can use. I never touch it, only swatch it so this can go. So this is one of my favorite drugstore palette that I ever bought. So this is from Essence. It's the Wanted... Wanted Sunset Dreamer Dreamers eyeshadow. So I think this is a dupe for okay, the brushes. The dupe for uh, the Naked Heat, which I was not planning to buy because it's too expensive, and I have so many like warm shadow palettes. So, and the formula of this is really good. So I'm not planning to get rid of this. This is my one of my purchases last year during the. Um, holidays it's from Too Faced Gingerbread so this will not go anywhere as well because I spent so much money on this and I love this it smells so good and yeah I just love the colors and this is a naked cherry from um, Urban Decay so I I really like like burgundy kind of um, makeup and that's why I bought this but I never really use it I think I only use it four times so I was thinking should I sell it or I don't know but if I need like cherry kind of colors maybe this will be useful but for now I don't really use it but I will try my best to use this this year and it's so expensive also that's why I will not do and this is from Revolution. I think this is their Reloaded Iconic um, Fever um, palette. So it's a bit, it looks like the other ones as well that I have. Like this, this, and the other one palette. So I don't know. But I really like this as well. So I think I'm going to keep it. And this is like the dupe for the um, Modern Renaissance. Or no 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 the soft glam from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is how it looks. I really like also the colors and the formula. And I was planning to buy that, but since I still don't have it, I will still keep this. But if I ever I will buy that palette, I think I will give this away. But this is also a great alternative, although I didn't try it yet. And this is like the subculture dupe from Revolution. This is the iconic division so this is really pretty if I will ever make green looks maybe this will be helpful but I don't really reach out for this so I will still try to use this and if I don't really reach for it I might give this away next year or maybe before the holidays so we shall see so continue so this is like from the I Heart Revolution Nudes palette. So this is the nude but this is really a pretty palette. This is like my colors and yeah I use this a lot and I reach for it a lot so I will still keep this. And this is the orange I Love Revolution Chocolate Orange palette. So this is so beautiful as well and I don't want like a orange look I always reach for it so 
it will not go anywhere because I love it so much. So I'm not doing well. So this is the chocolate elixir. So I guess that this is a dupe for the modern renaissance. Modern renaissance um, palette. It's okay. But I think I used this. It was a free from uh, purchase of my from Boozy shop. But I think this I, this is the time to let it go because I see. I think I have so much similar colors. So I will give this. And the next one is okay. This and the next one is this. It's still from I Love Makeup, the chocolate rose gold elixir. Oh, this subtext is also a pretty like pink shades so this is really a pretty shade as well I'm thinking if I want to give this because I never reach for it almost not for the meantime maybe I'm not sure yeah because I really like the shades of this if I like pink look so I might keep this and these are like my mini or like individual shadow pan from Makeup Geek and I never reach for them. This was okay but I think it's getting hard. Uh, not really, I thought it was getting hard. But I think I'll give this since I have so many eyeshadows I, I never reach for them. So this will go, certainly. And this is one of part of my project pan. There's a white. It's from um, 3CE. The overtake, I really love the shades, and yeah, look, this I reach already the pan, and hopefully the others as well. So this is great for traveling because it's so light and small. And this is from um, make uh, what and wild. So this is also the dupe for modern re renaissance. So this is the rose in the air. I will. Hmm, I'm thinking because this is really handy. Look, I also use this a lot for my eyes. This is great for traveling, so I might keep this because it's not too heavy when I just don't like to bring like a lot of makeup. So I might keep this for travel. So here, all my single shadows. So this moonshot thingy, like, like it's like a cream to matte things it's really weird I, I don't like working with them it's too much work I don't know if it's still good yeah I hope so this is yeah it's not nice to to work with so and I bought them like for seven euro each uh, seven dollars each so this is, this is the warm dress I don't know if you see that and yeah like this so they're just hard to work with so I will give them away this is I only used them twice thrice I think oh, it's to cover but this is so annoying okay they can go and I first heard of them with Elisa Eldridge and when they were on sale in Jose I bought them so this is like a damaged one that I really like from up you like a topper eyeshadow, eyeshadow topper which I will not open so it will not make a mess these are like old BBA single eyeshadows so I think I'm gonna give them away because I never reach for them I rarely reach single so it's just a waste this is like a gold Kiko Milano single shadow like it was also pretty but I have so many eyeshadow it can go this I already have a lot of burgundy colors so this can go this is really pretty like tupper from Bibia yeah. so this it's really in the eyes but it's already all bad I will still keep it because I really like this and this is also a pretty like silver kind of battle it's already almost expired <laughs> so yeah we'll just keep it in case I will need it like that and this is from Colourpop. This is all so old also. I'm doubting if I should give this because this is so old. But I only use it once or twice. I don't know if it's dry. 
Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I will keep it. Because I give almost everything already. I think that's all for my eyeshadow. Oh, I have one more from Marc Jacobs. So this is the Fantas Fantasine. And this is like for pink colors, butts. I don't know. This, um... I don't really use it that much, but I will try my best to use this more since yeah i spent so much money on it and yeah i plan to i uh, will try my best to you and did it came with this when it was delivered it was damaged so i need to repress it with the alcohol i guess but it's still okay so i might and this is um this is i thought i could bring this with train traveling but it's so fragile that i will not risk it because it will be damaged again so i think i'm done with my eye products now blushers so hello sorry if the quality is a bit not so good now because the battery of my camera is dead so i need to charge it and i don't want to wait again to do this because later i will not be alone anymore my husband my husband will be home and i cannot talk and no there will be noise and things like that so now for blusher so i have this melanie um blush so when I used the other brush the first time I used it, I didn't like it. But after a while, I really like it with um, a bit dense kind of brush. But with a fluffy brush like this, I didn't like the look. But when I used this kind of brush, I did like the results. So this is the Rose de Oro. So one of the last blushes I bought. These are from Essence. They are like the matte touch blush so this is cherry me up and bury me up so this is that and this so I have one from Catrice this is berry so I'll compare it with the berry to see which I can hmm so this is like a waterproof they said I will compare it to be sure how oh, it's I, if they're the same or not yeah okay this I will give and this this oh this is a bit darker ah, okay yeah, okay, this I will keep in this. And this, the light shadow. This, I bought this in Holland when it was on sale, and I saw someone on Facebook and Instagram post it and it looks so nice. Nope, I already have so much this kind of color. Why did I destroy that? Okay, I like that. No, that will go. I have so many things like that already and this is from Richard house the what is this? lovely cookie blusher in ginger honey bread so I wanted this because it's like a nude blush for me oh, look, it's so light that hmm. okay I might keep this when I, I want just a light kind of shade this part of my project plan as you can see I will try if yeah this is really it's almost the same with this also no I still I'll still try to keep it and this is from the face shop I don't know the shade but number three this is also like a like um, I don't know if you see that here it's really light mm. oh, it looks so good as well okay maybe one of my favorite blush the natural beauty from essence really really pretty shade I don't know which one I didn't use yet Hmm. Almost the same with other things. No, this is a bit peachy light. 
Okay, the, this is the one I'm going to keep. It's a bit hard to get rid of things. So the next one is from N Other Stories. So this is the what is this sandal pink? One of my favorite blush. Um, this is like a limited edition. It's really like a pink. I don't know. No, this is too like pinky red. This can go. This is one of my favorite, the mellow one. At first I didn't like it so much, but now when I have like reddish brown kind of look, I use this. This also I love, the Chiro Champagne. It's really like a light shade, like an almost nude shade. And this I haven't tried yet. I will see if I like this, the pearlescent pink, which a lot of people really like. But I don't know if I will use this. Ah, oh, look, it's like so... I think it's like a rose or uh, like the orgasm from Nars. It's so like glittery. I haven't tried, but I don't think I will like this. It's too like gold. And I, I don't know, I, I will see. Let me try again. No, this is too shimmery. I'll give this. And this is one of the apricot in the middle. But I wanted to review them, so maybe I will just skip this first. When I reviewed it, I will give this some away. And these are my pod from Milani, which I hardly reach. So I don't know if I want to keep this. Oh, no, that's what it is. oh yeah, the colors are pretty. No, I'll keep it in case. I spent so much money on them so they can stay okay this the palette from MAC I will never give because I really wanted to build this palette that I spent so much money this is the oldest one I think I got it three years ago or two years ago and the rest are just the re these are the recent ones this I think last year and this is from Essence like the refill type of of blushers that I never use so I will give them away and put them here together with this or another I think I had an extra one I still need to look for that so I can put them in one palette so they can go but the empty zip palette can stay and we will go to the other side so these are the cream blushers which are new to me and they spend, I spent so much money on them so I will not give them away I will enjoy them this summer so first this the Milani Romantic Rose this is really a pretty like neutral shade so I will keep that this one one of my favorite summer blush from Ofra it's still in the older packaging and I prefer this packaging than the, than the white one Milani I love that this is from City Color, which I think looks like the Milani. And I don't need another. Wait, I need to. I need to swatch them together. If I, they are the same or not. Hope you see that. Yeah, they're the same. So this can go because I don't think I will ever reach the pan of this because it's so big this is the old uh, like one of the ex more, much expensive blushes I got this from Laura Mercy the ginger I do love this shade so I'll keep that this as well because it costs a lot and I like the shade as well this is the brilliant nude from Hourglass and I love that this is my newer I was I don't know there was a face that I wanted to buy all the cream blushers and this is my favorite shade it's from Too Faced it's the peach my cheeks uh, spice peach and it was on sale so I was happy I got it for 15 year I think this is from Stila it's the peony it's also a bit like a nude kind of shade which I love I think I will use this a lot during the warmer months this one of the 
pretty brush I have from this, this. from Seattle, London. I really like this. This is the date night. Two of I think I waited so much to have this brush at this good day Sephora stuck them and I was able to buy it. So this is baby love. I really love this shade. This is two faced. How deep is your love? Still still in cute but she, I think this is too bright. I don't know if I will because I spent so much on it, but I also got it on sale, but let's see if I will still continue it. And I think they will discontinue it. And this is Rose Beach, so it's part of my a uh, project, so I think I also already see some of the rim of it, so I might hit a part of this soon. That's with the, this side. This is the highlighter from Wet n Wild that I really love. The um, precious petals, so that will stay. But the packaging is not really good. This is the Another Stories blush, the Cut Bus Taupe, which I also love. Like a nude blush for me, which I want to collect. And this also Skiffly Scent. I really like this, like a peachy pink kind of shade. I think I'm not sure if they're still available, but yeah. so these are my old like packaging from my cushion, so I will not um, declutter them them in case. This is my current foundation from Mac. So I will use that till the end. So it's got and this is like already. So this is this is the time to retire it. So that should be gone. And this is my mattifying powder. I like this. I like my bronzer. My favorite cushion. Here, do I need to declutter? Okay, right. I will declutter this because I never use this. The cream brush from Hamer. And this one, the foundation. Yes, which I must really find. I think that's it. Others I can still try to use. And yeah, that's all for the blushers. Now for the lipsticks. So I have a lot. <laughs> so this I really like the Buxom, the Cov Covet Affair. This also the Holiday Too Faced Melt. That's really perfect one. So this too I never like because of the packaging and it's so annoying to apply. So I will give them both. I already reviewed them and I don't use them. So this they can go. Iconic Rose and Autumn Rose. Okay. This the only shades I like is the red I like red soul, so this is red soul. Okay, that's cute. So I might give that. This is my favorite brick rose. So I think I will uh, this is one of the shades that I will repurchase. So this is brick rose. I love this. This is iconic rose. Which no, I don't think I will ever use that, so that can go. This is autumn rose, one of the latest shades, which is looks like yeah, I think I have something that looks like this. I will need to see. This is velvet red, which is one of the popular. Mm, velvet red, oh, okay, it's a bit different from the other one, so I thought they would be the same, but not. This is Dandy Coral. Mm, should I? Okay, I will try to use this more. This is red pepper. Yeah, I like this. And to just compared with the Covet Affair. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit still different, so it's okay. And for this, I know I didn't like this. This is too light for me. This, okay. What is it? Pink, like really light pink. Do 
I need this, but I don't have light pink. Okay, let me think about that. <laughs> this, I don't know if I did like this. A oh, violet one. Okay, I don't have that, so I might keep that, but I never use them. They're almost the same. So this can go. This is the number six. Okay, these are, this is number eight, we'll see, okay, looks pretty, it can stay, this is number 15, which I don't think I like, no, this can go, 15, this is 14, Okay, I like that shade. It's like a burnt orange. This is 13. 13. Hmm. No, this is too bright. It can go. Okay. This 12th. This is also it's really popular shade because that was the model's and this is my favorite nude one. Yes. That's six. There. And this, number 10. Yes, I like the chain there. These are all the ones I kept. So more space now. And this is the boot. Okay, the first thing I know I'll give is this because my aunt wants a dark lipstick and I never use this. So this is like the love lipstick from Melanie that will go to her this I never use this it's a bit light I don't know if I ever gonna use that so okay this can go this is the peach tatan this as well this is brick or brack I don't like how my it looks on my lips Wait. no this can go that was big back this I like I think and this my favorite nude lipstick from Melanie that's beauty and from that and well berry ball this is the new York I love that that's a new this is also these two are too light for my skin tone, so Cobra and Choco Pink, they can go. For MAC, Mer is, yeah, this is part of my project plan, as you can see. It's almost done, so I just plan to finish that up, but I will not buy the see share. I thought I would give this, but I did like it. And bricola this i don't think i will repurchase but i want to finish it up this is chili no marrakesh i love this shade during autumn winter time like this look it's so rich it's so beautiful and this is mocha which is my favorite autumn shade as well so wait. <laughs> why did i touch the one? This is the each of the house. I don't know if it's pretty. I need to compare it with something else later. We will see. Did I like this? What is this? I really like the packaging. Uh, it's like a brown orange, but it looks a bit like this. Okay, I might keep this. This is too light pink for me this will go to uh, my aunt I think this I spent so money it's like 18 dollars and I don't know I just plan to finish this up but it's uh, it looks a bit like the bourgeois brick or brick so if you're looking for a dupe for that the brick or brick 
it's it looks like the mort if you see they're identical that's the mort and this brick and brock and this is the dry rose and that was the brick of brick from them and uh, this this is like a essence this is to bright pink for me this is, where is that that is this one so this will go to a friend and this is my favorite the only shade that I kept from all the <laughs> shade that I reviewed this is that one like a brownish pink so that is what number 10 i getting yeah so i kept that so that's all like this i still need to compare now and now the last part of the lipsticks and i guess that's all this is part of my project panda warm and sweet so i'll keep this from 3ce this is holy rose it's also a pretty shade now I don't want to give this because I spent so much money on them it's really a pretty I remember a lot of people were asking me about the what lipstick I'm wearing but I didn't wear this a lot so I should wear this again this is the ink tart and this is smoked rose I think so this oh this is also different okay I'll keep all my trees I think and with this the lily by red let's see I have so many swatches okay this is the orange this can go this okay that's pretty I'll keep it this is too red, I think. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna keep that. And this. Hmm. It's a bit weird looking. This can go. Because I don't really wear that shade. Okay. For this patch, I love using them now, so I will not give anything yet because they're perfect formula for summer. But they're not the best that I tried. But yeah, they're easy to apply, and when you're in a hurry, they're handy. So yeah, they will stay. Some more lipsticks for the last part. So this is from Nature Republic. Maybe I put it down so it's easier. Her nature but this is too light for me I will surely give this this is yeah I don't think yeah no give this away I I hardly use that this is also like the brick o brack kind of shade but I don't know should I give this because I have so many of this but I like I like this formula so I might give this Okay, this too, I I really don't like the formula of this though. Uh, one that I reviewed I didn't use as well. This too can go. Yeah, this too can go. Because they're still new, I'll need to smell if they Yeah, they still smell okay. So it's safe to give. <laughs> and I didn't wear them a lot. And this is part of my project plan, the number eight and the number six, which the other one I think. I threw one away because it didn't smell good anymore or was that no the other one this one I think okay so that is done now this side so this is my favorite nude um, lipstick from uh, Catrice the Oriental Desert I guess this yesterday I will keep that this is to orange I I think a follower suggested this to me okay maybe I still keep it looks pretty the kind of pumpkin okay, this it's too pink hazel royce royce Ro what? hazel rose royce ok 
we shall see and this is New York Spice I know I like New York Spice this pink I don't think I will use it I don't know. just keep it I like the New York, New York Spice as well so RDO for this great for like red tone kind of lip keeping oh this a new one new oh wait how did I like this hmm no I can go this is R05 okay this is the one that smells weird so this can go and in the bin RD05 but I did like that that was the tomato shade oh this is the one of the newer one okay this is like a bright orange no not keeping <laughs> that can go that can go okay this is also like a bright okay that can go as well and what is this 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 is my favorite the rd06 it's a bit dark but yeah so maybe should i keep this because i don't have the orange yeah maybe i keep this because i already this bright should be should i give it a chance <laughs> Okay, I'll give them a chance for now. So, because the rest, I was. What is this? I did. Did I like this? Yeah. This I'm gonna keep. It. So, that's done. So, this is on the left. I forgot to show this part, but I think I would need to declutter this because this is empty. The rest I still need to use. The brush, tweezer, I will use this on vacation. Like my eyebrow thinks this, I'm almost done with it. So good my eyelash curler my current mascara which i will replace next month and too bad i cannot buy a japanese mascara here it's my new one my lip balm my like this is for my brows so that's it i think that's all and yeah i will show you how it look and what i decluttered after i will just rearrange things so because i have so much space already from other um, container so I'll be back so with this declutter this is these are the, all that I decluttered so I only have one eyeshadow palette and this like in the individuals I think I have 13 individual shadows including this and 20 lip products to like face products and I think one two three four five six seven eight eight blushers so that's all i decluttered this time so i hope they will be happy with this <laughs> hopefully and yeah maybe next time i will give more so i have space now for new products to try and yeah, yeah. so to give you an overview so this is how it looks so there's nothing much happened here i thought i would give more but i uh, know i still this these are all wait this I never used, so that can go. This also like I bought product on Brushka. These are dry, and also okay. So two, two uh, um, pencils. So the brushes and this also. What are this? Uh, this I I don't use this at all. It's too thin for me. The eyebrow. This is old from Bia, so this will go. So three brushes that I normally don't. I don't normally use so the lip drawer there's a lot of space to add new ones or to review new ones so we shall see these are the new drawer I put some of the lipsticks from here to here so that's the only left so I hope I can hopefully this year I will finish a lot so this is what happened with this I put some of the things from here to here so there's still space and this is completely empty which is sh a shock and this is like all the left ones the blushers here I have space here it's okay 
and here also I have space here yeah it's still the same nothing changed that much so yeah that's it that is for my declutter this year so I hope it was you enjoyed it it was a bit helpful and yeah thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye